So, word on the street is, you trying to be a cool kid. Yeah, I heard you trying to be a cool kid, working with those codables. Yeah, I see you. I see you. What's up? It's your boy Kilo Loco. And today, we're going to be getting into those coding keys. This is for anybody that didn't know that you can actually create your codable, your encodable and decodable object with whatever key name that you want for any of those properties. You don't got to worry about what your server is sending to you. You don't you don't you don't like what they send to you because they're using snake case and you want to use camel case and you're so sick of it. Well, we're going to be going over all of that today. So we're, I'm going to show you guys how to make your custom encoding and decoding keys. So uh, we're going to be using Xcode 9.1 doesn't really matter. Uh, Swift 4, uh, I think this was available. Yeah, was it Swift 4 only? I don't know. You guys you guys will figure it out. Have Swift 4, you guys need to upgrade anyway. Um, I set this to intermediate and this concept is super easy, but if you don't know how to work with um, networking requests and you don't know how to make a codable object, then this tutorial essentially just doesn't make sense because the the starter project which you'll be able to find here at kiloloco.com slash p slash youtube enroll in the course find the video download the link um essentially all that stuff is going to be baked in like uh, i'm not going to go through the entire process of showing you how to do all that stuff is going to be already right here in our project and i'll actually show that to you right now what our starting project looks like so we're going to have a get button we're going to have a post button and in our view controller, all we have are just making sure that those two buttons are connected. So um, we just have this IB action for the um, on get tab, the IB outlet for on post tapped. And as you can see, we're making a networking request right here and a networking request right here. We're going to be sending that. Um, we're going to be sending that post that says, oh, hey, girl. And it's going to be like, damn, girl, your body be looking stringy yeah so that's what that's what our new post is going to be and if we go over here to our networking service so we can see what's actually in these methods you'll see that i just you know set up a networking class as i usually do you know make sure that you can't create an instance of it uh have this um you know uh, what's it called a singleton called shared and then we just have these two functions one called get post as you saw and the other one called send post as you saw so um, what it's doing both of them are going out to the same exact place and what it's doing is going out to this website right here now I don't know if you have been watching my videos in the past but um, I like to use this website because it, it, it gives you great JSON to work with um, whenever you're testing out uh, you know learning how to do networking and stuff like that so this is essentially what that JSON looks like um, as you can see it has a user ID an ID of the post um, the title which is just a bunch of lorem ipsum and then the body is also a bunch of lorem ipsum so um, you know it's gonna look like gibberish when we print it out and I'm gonna run that for you right now just so you can see what's happening as you can see right here um, we're already we're already creating um, the session we're loading up the data task, you know, JSON decoding it right here. If you don't know how to use JSON decoder and encoder, then, uh, you know, at the top, I'm going to pop up a little little uh, icon that allows you to see how to do JSON encoding and decoding. Uh, I have another video completely dedicated to that. But as you can see, it's going to give us an array of posts like so. And then for each of those, for each post in that post or in that post array, um, we're just going to be printing out the title. So it's just going to be the, a bunch of one liners of lorem ipsum. And we just have this debug print so that it has some spacing in between. Um, same thing with send. Um, you know, we're just once again back to the post uh, request right there. Post requests. Make sure that it's JSON. Uh, we're doing our encoding right here. As you can see, encoded post like so, s setting it to the HTTP body. And then we're just sending up the, or we're initializing or we're starting that task with a request. And then we're just printing out the JSON when, when it comes back. So let's go ahead and see what all this looks like because Kyle has been talking and all you really want to do is just see how to do this one little simple thing. But Kyle keeps rambling on. So how do we do it? All right. So what we got to do is if we want to see what happens with the get, 
we're just going to press get and it's going to come back and it's going to give us all those lorem ipsum little snid bits right so sunt whatever that means sounds kind of bad probably shouldn't be saying it and as you can see sunt and so on and so forth right right dude okay so now we're just going to trash that go back to the app we're going to press post and oh damn girl your body be looking stringy all right so that's showing you that the get and the post work because um when you post to this uh you know url all it does is it returns back what you sent to it so yeah we know that it works and yeah so the part that you guys have all been waiting for is this little bad boy right here and you're like oh well you know my, my title looks like this they're, they're sending me you know something stupid like capital title or whatever like that and it's like oh, i don't like that i don't like that at all so what you gotta do is you gotta create um you have to create an enum and um, you want to set this enum to private because uh, you don't want it to be used anywhere else um, and it's going to be called an enum obviously and what you have to do is you have to call it coding keys it's very important that you spell it coding keys it be spelled right because you can't do this any other way if you if you decide to call it something else like tenna if you call it tenna keys, you know, it's just, it's just not going to work. So make sure that it's called coding keys. And then what it, what it has to do is this enum has to um, conform to the string property. And it has to conform to another one called coding key right here. See that? A type that can be used as a key for encoding and decoding, right? So once you have that all laid out, now... Um, Oh, well, let's fix this because the title's missing. All right, so now once you have all that, it's giving me an error just because we haven't finished, um, you know, initializing it. Now, if you should know how to work with enums, but um, there's two ways you could do this. You could do it case like this, and then just list list out all your property. You have to have all your properties um, um, listed in here, but um, you can list out all your properties in a one liner like this, like title and body. Um, or you could do it like this, which I kind of prefer. I, I feel that it looks a little bit cleaner, but you know, when it gets really long like that, it kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, having like really, you know, tight uh, objects, you know, in your code. It's just like, it's a one liner as opposed to multiple liner. Cause if you have a bunch of properties, then it just starts looking weird anyway. Um, so if you don't want to do anything to your, like if everything's labeled properly, the way that you want it, then you just leave it like this. But what happens if we wanted to change the title? What if we want the title to just be like poop, you know? Um, well, you know, when we do poop and we go over here, we're gonna run into a couple of errors because there's no poop when you try to initialize a new poop, right? Or a new um, post, right? So we would have to say poop right here and then that would be the poop. And if we do post, um, okay, we're running into it somewhere else too. Okay, when we're trying to print it, right? So then we'll print the poop. Okay, so now this won't work because uh, in the JSON that we're getting back, there is no um, there is no poop property, right? It's user ID, ID, title, and body. There's no poop in there, right? So what we got to do, or what we do when we do a get, you'll notice that nothing comes back, right? nada not a not a damn thing and if we post the post will work but um as you can see it doesn't have a title instead it has a poop property so that's not right you wouldn't want to send that up to your server so instead what you got to do what you got to do what you got to do is you got to go back over to your post object and you have to say okay well for poop i want that mapped as title so whatever the server is giving you that's what that's what you want this property right here right there to be known as so when it comes down it'll come down as title but we're going to change it to poop and then when we want to send it back up um we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be working with poop locally but when we want to send um poop back up <laughs> sounds kind of weird when we want to send poop back up what you got to do or what it's going to do is it's going to convert it back to title so when we press play now 
we'll, when we do the get, we won't just get this weird um, error that was right there, or I don't even know if it's an error, but we won't. We'll get all of our we'll get all of our um, all of our titles back. You see that? And when we clear this out and we press post, notice that it is saying title as opposed to poop. So this is very important. So like if you want to map your if you want to map your stuff out how um, to whatever you want it to be like on your side, if you want to give it your own naming convention, then by all means do that. Um, but you have to make sure that you, you have coding keys spelled like this and it has to conform to string and it has to um, also conform to the coding key as well. So let's go through and we'll change this to title because we decide to have capital capital names in our in our properties now because reasons and um, we'll just call this one title and now if we run it we'll also get it to um, you know everything will work again just because uh, we mapped it properly right here in the title so if we do get we get them all back um, and then if we do post it goes up as title lowercase title so that's all you really got to do just this little guy right here um, if you wanted to do the one-liner you could have done it like this like so that would also work I just feel that it looks a little bit weird to me but it works um, you know you could just keep and you could do that to as many properties as you want you know just just keep going just just keep just keep doing it keep doing it so that's all we're gonna do today guys um, I had a long day at work I didn't want to make a super long video uh, so um, thank you for watching if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up also make sure that you subscribe to the channel because it always makes me feel really good when I get new subscribers I'm like yay people kind of like me somewhat sort of so that's always nice so um, yeah uh, make sure you also reach out to me on Twitter um, you can follow me on Instagram too if you feel like it and uh, yeah be on the lookout for that Kilo Loco app. Look at it. 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 It's, it's, it's coming alive. It's, it's on the way out. I'm not going to show it to you right now. No sneak peeks yet. And then also the KiloLoco.com website. Make sure you enroll. Um, just a heads up. Anybody that enrolls early before I launch my app is going to have a couple of extra benefits. So keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, uh, I will catch you on the flippity flip. So keep coding passionately. Yeah.